Hey, it's Drew's Views here, back for Friday Flex, reacting to a Netflix program on Friday, and continuing, everything sucks, exclamation point. I'm now up to the, I believe, the penultimate episode of the season, maybe of the only season, I apparently I've heard that this is not getting renewed for season two, so I assume the creators of the show would have wanted that, and they probably didn't, aren't going to necessarily wrap things up all the way, but they still might wrap some things up or um, get in the direction of doing that on some of these storylines. I know I've been saying for a couple episodes now that they're actually moving a little faster on some of these things than I would have thought, um, especially what it has to do with Kate. Now, last episode, Kate actually made a little move on Emmeline, who seemed to be into it, but then, of course, they got interrupted. And then she had the not so hot idea to try to reconnect Luke with his father. That went badly. And basically at the end of the last episode, everyone's all mad at each other or in an upset mood, uh, of course, except for the teacher bus driver man who, uh, you know, he got a little park ranger strange or uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's this, this the uh, scene with this thing the uh, movie filming at Dominguez Rocks. And uh, so they at least got most of the movie done, I think. Um, we'll probably see more of that this episode. But yeah, Luke Sonata, really in a good place right now. And we didn't see his mom or Kate's dad last time. I would assume there won't be two episodes in a row that they're both not in. So yeah, we haven't seen the mom in a couple episodes, I think. But uh, you know, she's off flying coast to coast to different countries as a flight attendant but uh yeah dad ken he wants to get it on with her and he's in love with her so uh yeah we'll see what's going on there and uh oliver has skipped town he's going to new york apparently will we see him again i don't know he's like kind of my favorite character so i hope so but at the same time maybe we won't and uh yeah we got the the friends there always doing stuff. It's getting a little bit less annoying. Uh, and in general, I was said the whole time, I'm liking the show more and more as it goes along. So let's see if that continues with episode nine here, which is called, My Friends Have Been Eaten by Spiders. So who knows what that could mean. Could be another reference to their movie in some way. I don't know. Well, let's go. They're still on the short bus going back, it looks never like. Going back to Cali, like ever. Not going, so going, going to back, like back to Cali. And tell you to beat off into a sock the next. What, is that a riddle? <laughs> Life's cruelest riddle. I'm home. Oh, is he going to catch his mom and Ken together? Could be, could be. <laughs> That's why it was quick to let this field trip go down. Oh no. Mary J. Blige. That, you hate to see that. Well, as much as you hate to see it, at the very least, he's still wearing those tidy whities instead of nothing. Was it your mom and I? Get out of my house. Luke, go out into the hall and give us a second, please. No, it's it's okay. Let's have a little chat. I said, get the hell out of my house. Hey, whoa! Okay. No, <laughs> Still kind of bold to do. Yeah, principal of your school. I, I know this is awkward. You don't speak to an adult that way. When an adult is speaking, you politely listen until they're done. You got that, son? Don't call me son, you mother. Hey, stop it. Please leave, Ken. Luke, the way that you just spoke to Ken was beyond inappropriate. Inappropriate? Mom, you're in bed with the principal. My ex-girlfriend's dad does not not seem inappropriate to you. Luke, calm down. Now let's talk about this. Let's be a team, okay? Team! You lied to me. I am sorry I didn't tell you, okay? Luke's but I it. had my reasons. Prove that. You're a liar. Luke, what has gotten into you? What else have you lied to me about? When you're gone for days, are you really on an airplane? Did dad bail on us or did you just drive him out? Because you're being a little asshole. How'd it go? Good. 
That's true, sweetie. Is everything okay? Will you hang up for me? Sure. Mm, that's a lot of trust right there. I know how to parent my son. Yeah, I, I know you do. That's why I'm sorry. But it doesn't have to all be on you or me. I mean, we, we can uh, help be there for each other. It's too much, and I... Is really what you want? It doesn't matter what I want. It's what's right. For Luke. My son comes first. Of course. I just, I want you to know that for the first time in 10 years, I feel happy. The kids can be part of that. We deserve to be happy, Sherry. All of us. school's first ever movie are now available these guys the premiere will be held saturday in the auditorium amidst renovations still in progress garbage considering i was not cast in it what a shame and those of us who All were right. cast they, in they it both tried to assure you it's gonna be da bomb diggity saying less Time. What is the Dennis Rodman guy doing in the movie? Because they never showed him doing much, but I guess he's uh, shooting guns off and whatnot. Of course, he puts her intergalactic lust. Is that the name? Luke. Luke's gonna rage again. What the hell was that, Stargrove? From now on, no one touches the footage. Do you know our parents were dating? Were dating. Glad that's over. It's disgusting. I can't believe you dated that a-hole. Luke, more like puke. Seriously, he's a capital J-E-R-K. Jesus, Leslie, I get it already. Leslie, that's her name? I feel like the first time I've ever heard anyone say it. Who are you? What have you done with Emmeline? Can we talk? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Bye, Leslie. Don't walk in on this one. That night at the hotel, the things you said that you thought I was perfect. Did you mean it? Yeah. I'm confused because you said that, and then we almost... Yeah, well, but you didn't. I saw you and Luke holding hands. Oh, when were they holding hands? Do you like me? What do you mean? You know what she means, Kate. You know what I mean. Is that okay? Yes. Oh, Which that was nice. Which way are you going? Oh. That way. Uh, so Do you want to come to my place after school? Sure. Meet my locker? McQuaid! Oh, no. What a class, Don't talk guys. to him. He's going to get the wrong impression. This guy is a mad, passionate kisser. Speaking from experience. Mwah. Uh, agreed. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Come, Commander Borg. Line. Gonna get cut out of this movie, man. I think Emmeline Adario likes me. No, she doesn't. Yeah, but what if she does? Shh. Tyler, please. What do you want him to do? What do you need help with? I need to know how to dress cool. Excuse me? A baking powder? Okay, you have style? Kind of. I do not. That and I 
literally have no one else to ask. Mm, I was wondering why Tyler was getting upset last episode, but I guess it's because his friends are on time for him or something. Now what's her name? That I forget. Was <laughs> Leslie. I'm sorry. You really so. shouldn't blame yourself. Truth be told, you never stood a chance. The female species is extremely powerful and highly mysterious. You're like a spider. Yeah. Your friends have been eaten by spiders. That's where the title comes in. I'm always curious when. I pretty much don't have any friends. So. <laughs> we'll see you, Leslie. I mean, even you could do better, Leslie, I, I think. Dad? Hmm? Oh. What are you doing? I, I was just getting a drink of water. Staring off into the distance. Are you okay? Yeah. Things didn't work out with that uh, that lady I was seeing, but um, maybe just treat me like the principal today. Well, again, it's the opposite of what she wanted to to do in the first episode. I can't hang out oh today. Oh my god. Why not? It's there's something I have to do, and, it, and it's not you. It's I promise. I I really. It's okay. It's okay. I get it. Rachel. All right. Yeah. Come with me. I have something I want to show you. Absolutely not. I don't have one good take of Tyler saying his line right. The aliens look like they live on freaking Sesame Street, and this asteroid belt thing, it doesn't make any sense. You're being a real asteroid belt, Luke. My dad's gonna jump off this bridge if you don't get your, convince your mom to get back with him. The best memory I have of my mom was this one day when she took me to the county fair. So she bought me balloons. And then we were at the highest point of the Ferris wheel. And she told me to let them go. She said to me, Kate, just because you can't see them doesn't mean they aren't still there. That night we got home and she cooked us spaghetti. But it was surprising because she hadn't cooked in months. And she drove out here to this bridge. She jumped off the bridge. And she stopped her car in the middle of the road. And she climbed over the railing. And she let go. In the obituary, my dad just said her death was related to illness. Cece, I don't have the luxury of getting mad at my mom over petty bullshit. I just have a dad. And I don't know what you did to screw up the happiness he found with your mom. I'm so mad at you, Luke. You're not the only one having a hard time. Well, you got told, son. Oh, it's the end. All right. Well, that one felt short, too. I guess some of these episodes, I mean, they're not long, but some feel shorter than others. Oh, that was a pretty moving speech by Kate at the end there. I'm not sure if it means is the implication that her mom was sick and like something was terminal, so she just decided to end it that way, or was the sickness just like depression and that got the better of her, so she committed suicide. I'm not sure if I missed something that would tell me one way or the other. I know initially Kate said her mom was sick, and that's why. She lost her, but yeah, I guess it could be one or the other. Um, I guess it doesn't completely matter too much, but I would be interested to know. Uh, yeah, I feel bad, bad for Ken, even though I like to 
make fun of him a bit because he is, you know, how he is, but obviously has a very sad life. I, I think the mom's going to come around, um, you know, and they'll probably get back together. Again, like, since it's probably not going to be another season, I don't know if it, there's one episode left, so I don't know if it'll be able to get it wrapped up like that. But I don't think it's going to end on uh, on the note of it being too depressing or anything. Um, like I said last time, I, I think there's going to be some movie footage, or I think the next episode's probably going to be the premiere, or whatever they're calling it, of the movie. But yeah, I assume that uh, it, it makes sense for them to get back together, at least pointed in that direction. There really is no reason they, sh they couldn't be, other than the mom being... You know, not wanting Luke to be upset, but look, he's a kid. He's already 15 or whatever. I mean, he's got to deal with it. It does suck that the principal of your school would be dating your mom. And the, uh, I guess, especially if it's also because of his relationship with Kate. But, I mean, she's right. He's being a real asshole, like the mom said. Uh, Sherry's at her name, like Sherry said. And, yeah, I, don't, I mean... I, d I definitely felt like she, you know, Ken tried to stick up for himself a little bit recently. You can't talk to adults that way. I, yeah, I'm surprised he really was talking that way. Obviously, he's ups super upset about other things too, but he's definitely crossing the line there. Um, you know, if I was Ken, I, I would have left like he did and just said, you know, but you gotta say something. Um, but yeah, the Sherry or the mom, I, she's got a, I, I, I don't know, I mean, I feel like she should have been more mad at Luke, too, but who knows. Um, but, yeah, he's being a dick to everyone, so he definitely had it coming. What, uh, you know, I'd said in the past with things with him and Kate, um, she's treated him unfairly some of the time a little bit, but in this case, you know, he, he definitely had that speech coming, and uh, he needs to know. You know, you don't have to be... It's not like he has to be super invested in, like, um, my, my friend's dad has a hard life. He has to, we have to treat him one way or the other, or that his happiness is the most important thing. But he's still got to be somewhat cool, but you can still be somewhat cool about it. And it's not, and, like, Ken is, like, a good guy, so it's not like, you know, I, I, I know he's equating it with his own father. He's mad at his mom about the dad, but, uh, his dad, but, you know, and... You're not thinking rationally here, but still, like, if you really did think about it, Ken would be a decent, like, you know, I guess stepdad or whatever. Um, probably, but, so, yeah, we'll see if it points that direction. Um, what else? Oh, so, also, Kate, again, frustrated with this MLN thing, this episode on last, she keeps, I, I understand this time, too, she's doing it for her dad, kind of, I mean, she... I thought she was gonna, you know, when she said to Emma and she can't hang out then today, I thought she was gonna go try to be with her dad, but no, she was, again, going with Luke, and even though it was for a good purpose, still, um, yeah, I don't know, it's, I guess in, in, the, in the last episode, too, they'll finally hang out, I don't know if we're gonna see them kiss or whatever, I, I think we probably might, but, um, probably not much more than that, but that would be good, um, so it, that's cool, I, I like that, Seems, I mean, this definitely gone from the start of the season to the end. It, I really didn't think it would necessarily go this way with uh, Emma Line being into Kate as well. Um, so, yeah, and I, I hope it's not... It doesn't seem like... In, you know, with last episode, I could see it being a thing where Emma Line's just in a place where she's, like, super vulnerable or whatever, and then someone else, you know, kind of swoops in, and it, that's why something happens, but... You know, with this episode, it, it didn't really s seem that much to be the case. I uh, like I believed her at least when she's saying uh, she did like, and like when they said they like each other, whatever, whatever, they both were really happy. So I think that's good. Um, but with McQuaid there, I mean, he's like I said, he's gonna get the wrong impression. Uh, it's predictable. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do in the next episode. He's gonna try to go with her in some way, and obviously. He's, there's simply no way uh, what's his name is right Tyler I, can't, I really struggle to remember his name Tyler is uh, right it's not gonna happen and he's going to Tyler for fashion advice that's I mean I don't know man I know you don't want to go to Luke these days because he's a damn loose cannon but uh, and then Tyler yeah it was I guess just because he's not as 
quote unquote mature as his friends. He's not interested in girls yet apparently. I don't I mean it seems like even if I mean he's in high school, I feel like he would at least even if you don't know what to do or you're not at the step where you're gonna really be making moves on girls or whatever it is, a relationship, I would think he'd still be like interested in theory, but it doesn't seem like I mean he's clearly uh, clueless about uh, Leslie, I think. Um, so, you know, she's trying to <laughs> insinuate herself in that. I mean, I feel like also she, I mean, I know she's supposed to be, I guess, a loser too or whatever, but I mean, there's, I, and it's only going to be like the characters on the show we know, but I feel like she could find something else there. Um, also there's, so, you know, she was looking, giving a look to Emmeline and Kate Maybe she knows something going on. I think she was kind of being homophobic at the beginning of the season, if I recall. Um, so that could be, a, I mean, again, only one episode left, but that could be some kind of uh, drama next episode if she finds out really what's going on between them, especially if she thought Kate was like her one of her only friends, apparently, it seems like. So, yeah. So, yeah, predictions for the, le the final episode. Well, see something with the movie premiere. I'm sure that'll be a whole big scene or make the most of the episode. We'll see Kate and Emmeline get together a little bit. Maybe the friend will cause drama. McQuaid's gonna insert himself and that's gonna be awkward probably. Um, maybe Tyler and the Leslie girl will, you know, maybe he'll figure that out. Um, I don't know if Luke's gonna get closure with his dad at all, but maybe he'll apologize to Ken. I, I think that something like that probably happened. Ken and the mom rekindle a bit. And, uh, yeah, and Luke stops being an asshole and uh, has a good movie, maybe. Although I'm sure it's not going to be too good, but quote-unquote good. I don't know I'm saying quote-unquote. I feel like I've said that like three times. Uh, let's quote-unquote end this reaction slash recap here. Uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for Friday Flicks, Drew's Views. I'll be back next time for the final episode of Everything Sucks! Exclamation point. And... Until then, peace, we're out of here.